everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. We're back today for the 55th episode and I do want to say of course an enormous thank you for all of your wonderful support lately, especially with all of these endgame episodes. I really appreciate it. So today is the day we showcase our ultimate summoner set. Recently we've had our ultimate ranger set be showcased. Today is all about our ultimate summoner set. So we've got all of the bosses here. Obviously there's a gap here because because that's where Plantera would go if there was a direct summon item for it. Which, obviously, there isn't in vanilla, so that's a thing. Uh, but also, just to sort of beef this up a little bit, I thought it would be quite a nice idea, or certainly an interesting idea at the very least, to give both the Pumpkin Moon and the Frost Moon a bit of a go with our summon set as well. See just how beefy our Terra Prisma dudes really are. So, my friends, if all of that sounds like your cup of tea, then do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to support the series by dropping a like. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you really want to go on further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to skip until the next night time. 7.30pm, then we've got the entire night to start battling bosses, just like in the Ranger boss rush. Or alternatively, we could always try to make use of the time we've got going on here and do a little bit of fishing for our 1000 crate fishing challenge. So yeah, eight minutes worth of crate fishing should be a pretty productive use of our time here. So what I'm actually doing right now is sitting on a toilet because would you believe by sitting on a toilet you get slightly increased fishing power. Which is a bit on the strange side, but hey-ho, it is what it is I guess. I guess if we really wanted to we could also farm out some poo. Um, for fertilizer. And there we just about have it. All right, very good. So we've wound up with 32 crates in eight minutes. I'd say that's a pretty reasonable rate right there. So, yeah. This is what we're looking like now. Still nowhere near a thousand, but we are way more than halfway there. Also, um, 532 bits of poo produced. If you produce 532 bits of poo in just a morning, I think you'd be sent to a hospital. <laughs> Demonic hellfish caught in caverns. There it is. Come on, Budski. What do we got here? Oh, another golden fishing rod. <laughs> So, how about this for interesting? I think we could take down the first four bosses at the same time. King Slime, Suspicious Looking Eye, Worm Food, and Bloody Spine. I kind of wish that there existed a summon item for, like, clusters of bosses. I know that there kind of was in the Legendary Mode seed, whereby you could make, I think it was Ockram's Razor, and it summoned in uh, the weird mutant mech bosses all melded into to one. I can't remember what it's called, but anyways, I digress. Boom. 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 Yeah, fellas. All right, let's just, um, yeah. Yeah, dead. Now we focus on this guy. Oh, my good grief. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. That would most certainly do it, my friends. So then, my friends, moving right on to, I think it's Queen Bee next, actually. And then it will be, I do believe, <laughs> get it, Bee? <laughs> I'm hilarious. Uh, but yeah, it will be, after that, it will be Skeletron. Hey there, Clothier. You're dead now, Clothier. And your master is now dead, Clothier. It's Deerclops time. Where's he coming from? He's coming from a place which isn't even in the snow biome. That's hilarious. Doesn't matter anyway, because he's dead. Moving on to the final pre-hard mode boss. It is now time for this fella. And he's already dead. Okay, good -o. We're actually going to beef this up a little bit. Queen Slime, Twins, Destroyer, Skelly Prime. We're going to do all of them at the same time. I mean, yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, this should be an interesting one. All right, well, there goes one of the eyeballs. Lots of stuff going on. It's actually possible I might die here. Oh, jeez. Let's try to be reasonably careful at the very least. There goes the destroyer. We could get ourselves maybe a few hearts back. There's Queen Slime going kind of nuts. Oh, boy. Come on. Gully Prime's almost dead. Make that present tense. He's indeed dead. And now it's time for the Queenie. Yeah, everybody dead now. 
So that means that coming up next, would you believe, is actually Plantera. I mean, you know you've pretty much won Terraria when you can take down not only the three mech bosses at the same time, but also Queen Slime chucked into the mix as well. Oh, would you look at that? There is indeed a Plantera summoner. All right, Plantera, where you at? Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hello, hello. I just realized I haven't even been using my buffs here. Not that we've really needed them. Let's be honest here. Uh-huh. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, there goes Plantera. Dead, dead, and dead. Which, of course, means that coming up next is the Golem Boy. Hello, hello, and hello. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh, look at that damage per second. Going nuts. Over 10,000 damage per second, I think I just saw there. Wow. Oh, pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love the summoner Lodo. I truly do. Come on. Stop avoiding your inevitable fate there, son. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love how fast the health bar is draining down. It makes me feel very, very good about myself. All right, we're in second phase now. Oh, good grief. You see, the thing is, we don't actually have the ability to dash. Because I actually took off... Oh, I took off the Master Ninja gear in favor of some other epicness. Uh, I don't think it matters all too much, though, because he's dead. Okay, good -o. So, let's make sure we don't accidentally uh, use it in a stupid way. Or waste it more to the point. All right. So, let's see what we can do. A little bit of a dashy dash. It's going to be the sun thing next. Okay. Now I think it's going to be another dash. Yes, it is. And then it'll be a whole new slew of projectiles. There we have it. And then I believe it's going to be another dash. Okay, brilliant. All right. Second phase, ladies and gentlemen. Now's where things start getting interesting. Oh, snappers. All right. Almost dead at this point. And would you believe, I think this is going to be another flawless victory. There you go. A flawless victory with a summoner loadout. <laughs> Boom. Impending doom approaches. But for whom? That is the question. We shall see. Because any second now. He's a coming. It's going to be the Moon Lord. Oh, snappers. All right. Still got to be careful of the fact that we don't have the ability to dash here. Let's just hope that we can still keep a fairly all right distance away from the eyeballs. Oh, yeah. All right. The laser is here. And got to be careful. There's eyeballs literally everywhere. All right. 160,000 health in total to take down still. We actually just had to heal. Interesting. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm it, calm it, calm it, calm it, Moodle. Calm it, calm it, calm it, calm it. I'm actually going to die here. Eh? I'm going to die during the boss rush. Oh, dear. This, uh, this isn't very good now, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Ah, oh, you stupid freaking lasers, man. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. That's the only downside of summoners. You have to stay relatively close to the Moon Lord. Otherwise, your summons won't be able to reach the Moon Lord to attack it. That is where being a ranger is far superior. You can go ahead and take down any boss or any enemy from any range. But with summoners, you have to stick relatively close to them. You know what else we're going to do, my friends? We're going to seriously try to beef ourselves up for this next event, okay? And yes, that does include using major improvements to all stats. <laughs> so I guess the question here is, will we be able to get ourselves to the new maximum wave of wave 20? With the pumpkin moon on this particular occasion. We'll find out in just a few seconds here when we activate the event. Oh, snap. It's going to be a fun time, isn't it? So, we're going to buff on up here. We are going to be ridiculously buffed. Oh, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Come on, then, fellas. Wow. Wave five in 30 seconds. I think that bodes pretty well for our progress in this particular event, my friends. All right, let's see how we do against the Morning Wood here. Take it down in a matter of seconds. Love to see it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolute destruction, my friends. Oh, hey there, Pumpkin. 
Yeah, you're gonna be taken down also in a matter of seconds there, Budski. There you go. <laughs> oh, I love testing out overpowered loadouts against bosses and events. It's so satisfying. Look at it. Look at that health, man. <laughs> oh, there's just no hope for them. There's no hope for them. Wave 15. Ah, oh, uh, almost died there. Holy guacamole. I'm still pretty close to death. I wouldn't mind uh, getting down to the ground. I should have put a heart reach potion on, really. Oh, now things are getting interesting. We've got two pumpkins on the screen right now. And, of course, a wyvern joins the party. But never mind, he's immediately dead. Wave 18. And it's still not midnight. Holy crap. <laughs> Two pumpkins at the same time? No problem. Oh yeah. All right, any second now we'll be on final wave, my friends. First ever time hitting final wave in 1.4. There you go. <laughs> that doesn't deserve a like. I don't know what does, my friends. Absolute carnage is happening right now, my friends. Absolute carnage. I'm pretty sure in one of the more recent bug fix updates, or maybe 1.4.4 itself, they actually nerfed the amount of bosses that will ever be on your screen at the same time. Like previously, this game would have no issues with presenting like seven pumpkins at the same time to you. But now, I haven't seen any more than two pumpkins on the screen at any one time. So, I guess that makes the later waves just a bit more manageable. But in terms of people who are a bit sort of masochistic, who rather enjoy having millions of pumpkins on the screen at the same time, yeah, it kind of sucks a little bit, I guess. Oh, and there's 10,000 points literally on the dot. But I couldn't do that again. <laughs> Hey, there we have it, my friends. Could we potentially take down these last fellas before they skedaddle? Yeah, we can. <laughs> the spirit of Halloween penetrates the air. Epic. What was that? 24,000 points is what we got. Wow. My goodness me. Look at how much stuff we've got going on. So three platinum coins from the event itself, but that's not taken into consideration what we might get from selling all of our drops. Because not only do we have this inventory completely full, our void bag is entirely full too. So we've got the hexed branch there. Uh, what is, I think it's this thing, right? So that's the pumpkin master mode drop. And this is the Morning Wood Master Mode drop. So actually, the Pumpkin Moon is now officially complete in terms of Master Mode exclusive drops. All right, so these are the hard mode swords we've got going on so far for the Zenith. Since we've got the Horseman's Blade, it kind of reminded me that, hey, that is a goal that I'd like to try and achieve. So there's the Star Fury. There's the Enchanted Sword. There's the Copper Short Sword. And then we've also got the Beekeeper. The only thing we don't have seems to be the Seedless Sword, which, of course, is gotten by Plantera. So, the good news is we've got a couple of Plantera baggies down here. Can we get ourselves a seed? Oh, wow. The Axe. Oh, cool. We've got Senex's outfit as well. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. Check this out. I just randomly checked out what this guy is selling. The Gatligator. Not even entirely sure we already had that. But uh, hey, hey, we can add it to our collection anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it in here already. We've got the chain gun, of course. No sign of a Galligator, though. So, there you go. Unique drop, at the very least. All right, here's what I think, my friends. Instead of going for the Frost Moon, what we're actually going to do is go for the Zenith. Okay. So, we need the Seedler from Plantera. And then what we'll do, just for the sake of being a completionist for at least today's episode, we will rebattle Moon Lord, and we will take him down this time. I am not dying to that son of a gun again. Ooh! Here she comes! Come on, then! Try and take me down! Do your best there, Sonny Jimbo! I'm hoping for a Seedler first time. Come on! That, well, I say first time. I mean, technically, this is the second time taking her down in today's episode, but we'll gloss over that fact. And... Oh, still nothing. Ah, screw it. Let's go find some random Planteras to take down. Maybe we don't necessarily need an arena anymore. Here she comes again. Where from? The left-hand side. Okay, I might still be able to get up to the arena. Still doing plenty of damage. So, you know, can't complain about that. <laughs> She's in second phase before she even gets to the arena. That is hilarious. All right, there we go. She's done again. We're looking for a Seedler. 
No seed left. Hey, what do you think? Should we go to one of these sort of non jungly jungle biomes and take down a plantera over there? All right. Well, there's the plantera. Just got to wait for her to roll her way up here. There we have it. Come on now. Come on. If I can get you up to this, like, massively clear area that is above me where the hollow was, then that would be kind of amazing. Although, then again, you're dead. So, um, yeah, I don't think we need to be all too worried. What do we got here? A grenade launcher. Come on, then. Try me. Try me. You're dead. All right. Come on. Boom. Oh, uh, did we get it? I've no idea. Okay, so that's still full of pumpkin moon stuff. <laughs> uh, still no sign of a seed. Like, come on, Terraria. All right, another Plantera death. Uh, seedler? Didn't see a seedler. Really? Flower pal. <sighs> Literally getting everything aside from what we're looking for. Well, that doesn't sound familiar at all, does it? And there goes another one. And guess what? Another axe before the seedler. For goodness sake, Terraria, what is wrong with you? Holy crap. So that wasn't a very good idea. Apparently, Plantera becomes enraged if you go down to the underworld. I knew that she became enraged when you went to the surface, but I didn't know that she enraged when you went to the underworld. Interesting. I'll learn something new today. Opening this one. Oh. Wait, we did get the seedler? Oh. oh. Okay. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the final element needed for the zenith. The zenith. Oh. Oh my goodness me. This is enormous. This is massive for the series. And basically what this means is we're pretty much ready to do our ultimate warrior loadout as well. <laughs> And there we go, Goblin Army already taken down. All right, quickly going to reforge our Zenith. We're looking for Legendary. There is no other thing that I'm looking for. Oh, and there we have it. <laughs> Whoa! 257 melee damage, and that is without a proper melee class. I mean, that is still pretty bonkers, isn't it? All right, one Celestial Sigil, one Moon Lord fight. We're going to take this guy down. You know what? I'm actually going to put on my Master Ninja gear. Just so we're able to better dodge his attacks. I think that would be a nice way to go. No! Come on! Why do I suck at this? Okay, right. Determination mode, my friends. Not stopping until Moon Lord is defeated by the hands of the Terra Prisma. Screw this. This should be easy. What the hell is going on? You know what? Just to ensure our victory, we are going to put on a bunch of buffies. Maybe it was a bad idea taking off my uh, Celestial Shell. It does seem to provide a good amount of defense. Yeah, going from 70 up to 74. I mean, you never know. That might just be the difference between winning... And not winning. Oh, you know what? I didn't have my full loadout on. Oh, you son of a gun. I forgot to put the Papyrus Scarab back on. Whoopsies! That's a big old minus, isn't it? All right. Now, ooh. Ow. Okay, now we've got to be real careful. Just stay close to the point where our little dudes are still doing damage. Ah! One more hit and I'm dead. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is... Ah! 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we've got 10 seconds on a heal. Do I prioritize trying to kill him? Do I prioritize trying to heal? Do I prioritize trying to kill him? Okay, four seconds. Come on. Come on. We got this. And healed. Right. Back to it, my friends. Back to it. Oh! That was really close. Oh! Do you know what? That was way closer than I feel like it should have been. Holy crap. <laughs> but there you go. The summoner class against every single boss in Terraria. Done. Today, my friends, the comment of the day comes from Phantom, who says, Hey, Python, I think it would be cool if, in a future update, they added a bow and whip dropped from the Moon Lord. Oh, I completely agree. That would be pretty awesome. We have a gun that's dropped from Moon Lord. We don't have a bow, though, do we? Which is interesting because on the Celestial tier of weapons, we do have both a gun and a bow. Uh, with the Summoner loadout, yeah. They didn't actually give the Moon Lord or Celestial tier of weapons any whips, did they? The final whip you can get, I do believe, is indeed the Kaleidoscope, isn't it? So, yeah. Hmm. 
That is definitely a bit of a hole in the whips thing, isn't it? We definitely need either a Celestial Whip or a Moon Lord Whip. That would be such a cool idea. But anyways, my friends, that is indeed going to wrap it up for today's episode. Showcasing our ultimate Summoner loadout. We've got the Berserker's Glove, Necromantic Scroll, Summoner Emblem, and Papyrus Scarab for the Summoner-specific accessories. We have ourselves this Celestial Shell for a bunch of generic buffs, which actually turn into quite big buffs when you tally them all together. And for our movement, we've got Solar Wings and Soren Insignia, all of which gives us quite the hefty loadout. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this nice action-packed episode. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.